me and Cornell were room together last year, and I took him to his first indie show, which I have to tell a story later oh my because God. my dad really wants me to, and it's really funny. And you all okay, okay, we'll do that in the back half. Um, so we went to his first wrestling show. And we're like, hey, like, there's not a whole lot of wrestling in Greensburg mm-hmm. in general. Um, do you think we could bring this here? And we're like, I don't see why not because I hosted a whole uh, show in high school called Cougar Mountain Mayhem for my senior year, mm-hmm. and um, my dad got me in contact, and like that show. In high school, he did a lot of the booking, and then this year he's like, "No, it's your turn." And I'm like, "All right." <laughs> <laughs> so I messaged all the wrestlers, and I uh, sat in a study room for nine hours and oh made all God. the matches and mm-hmm. talked to a lot of people. And this year we had to battle with athletics a little bit for the gym, but it was it was fine. <laughs> it was all fine. Thank you, Jeremy, for the gym for the day. We appreciate it. Um, uh, all the proceeds go to Connor's Cure, which. Uh, Excellent. A lot of pro wrestling fans know is the one that uh, mm-hmm. Connor McKellick, he's in the Hall of Fame now. Mm-hmm. And we raised uh, $1,500 for it last nice. year, about. And our goal is to raise 10000 by the time we graduate. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. And you guys are juniors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we got three more shows after this. There so. you go. Okay. All right. <laughs> that's awesome. And of course, very successful with the first one. And you say, I keep people bring that up like all the time, just in conversations backstage when we're setting up for shows. Like, I, oh, really? I, I, really? People talk about, oh, yeah, that's happened. To, oh, yeah, that was that pit fight, you know, kind of thing. Like, I've heard it a couple of times, and we got high fives there. You guys are <laughs> here on audio. <laughs> so, um, no, no, like, uh, it has been like a highly regarded uh, show. But, you know, it's again, you know, there's been, you know, between you guys and Stop Out Cancers, like a lot of these great benefit shows. And we've had guys on here on the show talking about like, these are the kinds of things that help bring the community together and, you know, f- the wrestling community together, both, you know, in the in front of and behind the curtain um, that 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 helps out a lot and obviously doing some real good stuff. Um, so you're you're going into the second one. What can we expect from uh, next Tuesday here uh, for everybody that's going to be in attendance? Because you guys are going out there. You guys can watch this later. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll be doing something. We're, we're, we're talking that out here before the show. But uh, <laughs> but uh, definitely, uh, if you're in the area, it's a Tuesday night. What else are you doing other than listening to this show? Not watching wrestling on TV anymore, that's for sure. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> so uh, what can we expect here at Pit Fight 2? Oh, man. Well, there's a lot this year. The one thing we wanted to do is like, Obviously, we had a lot of wrestlers for the first show, but we wanted to try and expand out and get some more people on the show. So there'll be a lot of new people coming. Uh, we'll have Atticus Coger. Um, he'll be nice. on. Uh, Bro Hemoth, it'll be his first time on. Spencer Slade, we just recently got. He'll be on. Um, Honey Badger, it'll be her first time on the show Good. as well. Um, we decided to do a lot of crazy kinds of matchup. We're looking for ones that a lot of people like. That that's the big one right there, the Greensburg Gauntlet. Mm-hmm. We just announced the last person for it today. So the competitors in it, as of now, are Lee Moriarty, Lewis the Nerd, Chris Larusso, the Rev Ron Hunt, Matt Connard, and Christian Noir. Oh wow! So yeah, that that's gonna be it's gonna be really good. That's gonna be insane. Mm-hmm. Um, the pit fight title will be on the line again. Uh, Gory versus Remy Levey. Uh, Gory is the champion, right? Gory is the champion. He won it in a fatal four way at the last show mm-hmm. uh, against Bulk Nasty, Andrew Pallas, and David Lawless. Um, other matches. Katie Arquette's going up against Honey Badger. That's that's a big one. Uh, Ronnie and his boys at OSHA are going up against the main event. Oh wow! Is that a first time ever? That's the first time ever. Wow! Yes. Yeah. I'm really excited about it. Are you uh, Are you worried about that lady lion? <laughs> Uh, did you guys invite the lion? Uh, we didn't, but that probably won't stop them. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to deal with the lion. I mean, I'm not going to say no to the lion. That I mean, I mean, it's a, mean, it's a lion. I'm going to beat the crap out of that Ronnie, lion. Ronnie. Oh, no. Up. Ronnie. 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 Yeah, I, um, I have a suggestion for you. And I have a solution for you. Um, You should just start practicing. We. <laughs> we. Are <laughs> I'm just. I'm throwing that out there because um, as much as I don't think you're a fit for this show, I don't want to see you mauled by a lion. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm there's just saying. Wow, well, there's different levels here. You know, we I got know. to unpack. I, 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 I got the idea from a little known movie called Avengers Age of Ultron. I'm pretty sure calming the Hulk is the same thing as calming a lion. Well, the sun's getting real low there, lion. Exactly. <laughs> the sun's getting real low. Exactly. <laughs> Although you have to dress like Black Widow for it to work, I think. At least I don't have to dress drag and do the hula. So uh, we're good. 
<laughs> yeah, that that did not calm down any lions or hyenas. Mm-mm. No, Mm-mm. I just got them riled up. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> exactly. I got a six man tag over here. Uh, looks like this. This looks an, like an interesting lineup. Yeah, it's gonna be so. It's gonna be going cheek. So it's Calvin Couture and uh, Robert Parker Williams and Devin Devine returning to in in ring action versus my my good old daddy o QB Blitz. Shout out. Uh, Marshall Gambino and Brandon K. Wow. And then we also we also have uh, Andrew Palace versus Beastman because Beastman cost Andrew Palace his match for the pit fight title. Okay. And we're actually featuring a pre-show this year where it'll be Xander Gabriel and Isaiah Wolf teaming up against the Lebanon Don Joey Moses and Corbin Bourne. There you go. Um, I've seen everybody but uh, 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 what was it, Corbin um, in – Two uh, PW Xander actually is going to be on the show here in two weeks. <laughs> I was like, "Hey, what are you doing?" And he says, "Not next Tuesday. I got a pit fight." So <laughs> <laughs> that's all of our answers. Yeah, that's everybody's like, oh. answer. We're like, "Why can't I book everybody?" Because pit fight got them all. <laughs> so, Sorry about good, it. Yeah. Oops. So really, we're celebrating winning one Tuesday night war tonight, mm-hmm. and next week. We are losing the Tuesday Night War. <laughs> exactly. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> well, maybe, 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 just maybe you guys are going to be live next week. What are we we're talking live. about? We might be doing it on location. Oh, so. boy. So I won't be on the <laughs> No, show. Well, hey, we could try. We just put a big. You know what, man? I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring the 32 inch television. Put it on the desk next to us. <laughs> You'll we'll bring be, the DVD of Hocus Pocus. And the, the DVD Hocus Pocus is we like we're it's be like we're here. And nothing will be different. You know, nope, uh, Ronnie will be in the background. You mm-hmm. know, maybe getting pretty, his ass kicked by a lion. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> so <laughs> it'll be just like home. <laughs> <laughs> Me getting asked by ass kicked by a lion is just like home. Yes. Sure. Sure, that's where we're at right now. God, I don't want to go home. <laughs> but anyways, um, so a uh, great show uh, coming up here. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, what are the details for people that, uh, that want to come out to it? If you want to come out to Pit Fight, it is at the Pit Greensburg campus. Don't show up the main. We won't be there. Um, It'll be very lonely. <laughs> yeah. Very. Yeah. Um, it's Doors open at 6.30 p.m. with a bell time of 7. It is $10 for adults, $5 for kids and it students mm-hmm. um again that's tuesday october 8th next week chambers hall gym is the building specifically again don't go to the main campus we will not be there <laughs> not the main campus there should be a giant sign on the main campus you're at no wrestling here <laughs> put it right outside the peterson event center <laughs> there you go no wrestling here until the 23rd. until AEW. how about that Piss, pit campus is uh, uh collectively hosting two wrestling shows this month I mean, only one of them has a lion. What? What's that? <laughs> the other has only a one of them has a lion. That's right. Only one of them has a lion. <laughs> the other one has a lion go heart. To the main campus and just like knock on the door and be like, hey, I mean, uh... what you didn't know was actually AEW contacted us first. They're like, hey, we want to have it at the Chambers Hall gym. No brother, no brother. That's our territory. Back off, <laughs> Cody. <laughs> <laughs> because they obviously would pick Pete, Pitt Greensburg totally. as their first location. Hey, you'd be so, hey, I, I watched Impact Wrestling out at I, IUP with Hulk Hogan in the ring. That's fair. Do you know what that means? That means we're getting Hulk Hogan. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. uh, that that wouldn't go well on our campus. Uh, <laughs> no. no, that's probably not a good that idea. That barely goes well on Raw these days. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they got to go to the desert. Um, <laughs> They don't WWE get, Halloween panic. They don't get that news out there. Um, 